camera, Coco. Say hi. Oh, no, not like that. <laughs> this, everyone, is my kennel dog, Coco. Coco Puff, if you want to be adorable. Haha, uh, <laughs> sorry. But, he is my dog. Why was I pointing randomly here? I think I meant to point at that squeaky clean thing. Um, way back there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, Coco's my kennel dog, and he's in his harness. We have his leash, and we never have his harness and leash together, unless he's working. Let me take off his harness. I mean, ugh, not his harness, his collar. <gasps> Die. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Coco, you don't need to give me the look. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to be doing, Coco, out of the camera, a training tutorial today. Um, Coco is trained as a search and rescue avalanche disaster dog. And I train him! So we normally train with toys, but his toy is downstairs, and I'm not going downstairs. And try oh. to um, here. Little dog for the ums. But, you may be asking, well then, how are we doing an avalanche if we're not going in, like uh, downstairs? Well, we're doing a simulated disaster site. I'll show you what that means. In one. Wait. I can't show you what that means. <laughs> because I'm not doing a simulated disaster site today. I am going to be showing you today because I need to clean my room already. <laughs> this, like, it, it's a complete disaster. <sighs> gubba, gubba, gubba. So, I decided why make more mess for myself. It's so early in the morning. I want to relax. This is February vacation. I'm in my PJs. <laughs> so, me and Coco will be working in a room, and we're going to be working working on his search command. So the first thing we do is we get up and walk. <laughs> so let me show you that. Oh, okay. So I hold his leash, not all the way up, but and I say heel, heel, Coco. I'm sorry, guys. He's tired too. He knows. Oh. He knows when it's vacation. Heel, Coco. Ha! Good boy. I'm gonna give you a treat. Want a treat? Yeah, you want a treat? Oh, hi, baby. He's adorable. He's my adorable baby. Come here, Coco. Come. Coco, come. Coco. <laughs> good. Good dog. You're a good boy. Good baby boy. You're a good baby boy. So we do have to walk to the disaster site. No, Coco. That's that's a weird spot. But that would that would be so crazy to film. This thing is already four minutes long. So I'll just take us there like really fast. Okay, search, Coco. Search. Search. Coco, stay. So, guys, here we are atop my mom's treadmill in her gym. But Coco does not know that because, guys, test right now if your dog knows what a treadmill is. Or any pet, really. Dog, cat, fish, guinea pig, bird, whatever. <laughs> but, he, I say this is in a, like, you know, area that something happened that we need to search. And I tell him, Coco, search. And what you should do with this, you take their favorite toy or treat or whatever motivates them. Like, you know, when they're first learning. Coco already knows this, but... 
and you have to like put it in front of them and and when they put their nose down to the ground to get it, move it away a bit and say, good dog, search. Good boy, search. Search, Coco. Good dog. And then, when your dog gets a bit more advanced, you can start doing like things like lift and hoist and lower. Coco is pretty good at that, actually. So let me show you. Okay, so you start by putting their toy on the fin, I mean on wherever you want to lift them up to, and then lifting them up and showing them the toy, like, you know, lifting them up comfortably. But then, you know the dog wants the toy, so you say, hoist. And you slowly, and remember, do this with a harness, not a collar. It could kill the dog if you did it with a collar. Coco has a harness on. A harness made for stuff like this. So, I say Coco hoist, and I bring him up. And then if he goes up without panicking, I reward him with a toy. If he does panic, I assure him that it's, that it's okay. And I lower him down. Slowly. Or if the dog starts to like thrash a lot, pick them up and like cuddle them and say it's okay. Now if you have a big dog, you should practice jumping on stuff. Because I can lift Coco up with my arms, but you need to still practice with a big dog lifting because um, if they're if they do go into search and rescue, if they do get certified, you will need to they will need to be hoisted. So the command for Coco is hoist, but you can use lift, up, whatever. Then, say he searches there, then you have to say lower. And slowly lower him down. Letting the leash out little by little and trying not to be too jerky with it. And remember the first time, um, the first time, that a dog gets hoisted, it has to be really good. Praise him the whole time. Praise it the whole time and get toys, treats, whatever. I just don't need to do it with Coco anymore because I'll just he just takes the praise at the end. He likes being hoisted now. He feels safe with it. So now we have to practice searching on uneven surfaces. Okay, so we're here at an uneven surface. Wait a minute. Where's the dog? <laughs> Coco. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Okay, oof. Coco, you're all tangled. So here's our dog. Sorry, my dad just came up and asked what I was doing. I need to film. <laughs> so, these are weights, these are shoes, this is another weight. I know you guys know that, but Coco, this is a lot of smells, sights, and texture. Why do I keep doing that? Anyway. Come on, Coco. In. You can say in or up. He responds to both. Good, good, good dog. And you know, be like super excited with the praise. Give, in new training, give them toys and stuff a lot. Um, go, go, search. Search here. Search here. I keep him on leash, but you can do off leash if your dog is like independent. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, good. Good. Wow. And this like is very rough. And he'll need to wear booties when he's doing it. Like really. Ow! That just scratched my. That just scratched my skin. Um. He'll need to wear booties when he's really doing this. But right now, I try to keep him off of it. Okay, go go up. Good dog. Good baby. Good baby. Good baby. You've grown. Coco, over. 
<laughs> Good. Off. Okay. So, that's the uneven surfaces thing. Now, this tests Adopt Balance and Fearlessness. This is an enormous yoga ball. I have put his toy on top. Now this requires a hoist because if a dog jumps on it, that might be bad. It could severely hurt him if it fell over, which it will if your dog jumps. So, hoist Coco. Now you say, even if the toy falls off, you have to say bow. And you can hold him at first, you know, because your dog isn't an amazing pro at balancing yet. But, so yeah, hold him at first, but then gradually take your hands off as your dog gets less scared. Coco, it's chill. Okay, good boy. Lower. And then, with that, that is an extremely hard trick to master, so... Give him lots of praise. Good doggy. Good doggy. Oh yeah, and I'm using this little thing now because Coco likes to snuggle with fuzzy stuff sometimes, and he likes it more than food. Well, he likes toys more than food. And then Coco has to learn that even if other dogs are still working or he still wants to work, sometimes he has to take a break or be done with it. So I'll show you how to do that. So, here he is right here on this, and I'm going to take off his harness. Oh wait, take off the leash first. <laughs> take off his harness. If you want harness inst instructions, it'll be in a soon to come video. Um, ah. Okay, sorry. So, Coco, you're all done. Rick. And he has to lay down and just snuggle with his toy and relax. Relax, Coco. Relax. Good dog. You're a good boy. You feel like a bit, you know... Be happy with the face, but be like less. Um, oh my gosh, this is saving someone so that he knows it's a relaxed setting. Well, thanks for watching our video. Coco loves to work, and hey, maybe if your parents allow, look into get adopting an elf pet or adopting a dog. Bye for now. Say bye, Coco. Bye. Oop, he has to kiss you. Coco. <laughs> Coco. He's a barker, too. Surprised yet, though. He's only barked once. Well, uh, bye bye.